step into the world of a classic spy series that captured the hearts of viewers in 1964. The Man from UNCLE, a television show that became a timeless symbol of the industry, offers a gripping blend of espionage, humor, and suspense. What makes this series endure through the decades? Is it the charismatic characters, the riveting plot twists, or perhaps the innovative approach to storytelling? As you delve into the episodes, you'll find yourself hooked by a narrative that stands the test of time. But that's not all brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions. The Man from UNCLE weaves a tapestry of funny, shocking, and sad moments that will keep you glued to the screen. Now, wouldn't you want to know what surprising facts are hidden in the episodes waiting to be uncovered? Have you ever been inspired or deeply impacted by the exploits of these secret agents? Share your personal stories in the comments below. How did the man from UNCLE shape your perspective or leave a lasting imprint on your life? We're eager to hear your most cherished memories and personal experiences related to this iconic series. Your stories add depth to the legacy of the man from UNCLE, a show that transcends generations. So, grab your popcorn, settle in, and join us in this nostalgic journey through espionage and intrigue. Your anecdotes await below, and we can't wait to read them. Travel back to 1964, a year that introduced a groundbreaking television series, The Man from UNCLE. Imagine the black and white screens, the chic vibe of the 60s, and a world gripped by Cold War tensions. In this setting, The Man from UNCLE emerged, reshaping the spy genre and leaving a lasting impact on pop culture. The show, a product of its time, skillfully combines espionage, humor, and suspense, creating a captivating story that draws viewers in. As you delve into this journey, you'll find yourself caught in a narrative woven with charismatic characters, intriguing plot twists, and an innovative storytelling approach that sets it apart. What keeps the man from uncle? relevant over the years is not just its gripping narratives, but also the emotions it elicits. The series is filled with funny, shocking, and poignant moments, ensuring a roller coaster of feelings for the audience. It's more than just a spy series. It provides a glimpse into a diverse world where each episode leaves a lasting impression. However, this show extends beyond the screen, impacting those who have tuned in. How has The Man from UNCLE influenced your perspective or left a mark on your life? Share your personal stories in the comments below, adding depth to the legacy of this beloved series that transcends generations. So, settle in, grab your popcorn, and join us in this nostalgic journey through espionage and intrigue. The Man from UNCLE awaits your anecdotes, offering a timeless experience that continues to captivate audiences, just as it did in 1964. Let's delve into The Man from UNCLE, a 1964 TV series that left its imprint on the spy genre. The creative minds behind it, Norman Felton and Sam Rolfe, aimed for a show that went beyond the usual spy story, blending espionage with humor and suspense. Their collaboration resulted in a timeless series captivating audiences. Leading the production, Felton and Rolfe played crucial roles in shaping the show's appeal. Their vision laid the foundation for a series seamlessly combining charismatic characters, plot twists, and innovative storytelling, setting it apart in 1960s television. On the directorial side, various directors contributed to the show's success, each adding a unique touch to different episodes. Their collective skill elevated the man from uncle. Beyond a typical spy drama, creating a dynamic viewing experience. Turning our attention to the stellar cast, Robert Vaughn as Napoleon Solo and David McCallum as Ilya Kuri Akin formed the core duo. Their on-screen chemistry added depth to the narrative, making them the dynamic heart of the series. Vaughn's solo, suave and strategic, complemented McCallum's Corey Akin, the enigmatic and skilled agent. Interestingly, Vaughn initially auditioned for Corey Akin's role, but landed the charismatic solo character. McCallum's portrayal of Corey Akin became so influential that it shaped subsequent spy portrayals in popular culture. Beyond the central duo, the show featured a versatile supporting cast, with actors like Leo G. Carroll adding their flair to the series. The ensemble cast combined talent contributed to the show's lasting impact. In conclusion, The Man from UNCLE owes its success to Felton and Rolf's creative vision, the diverse directors, and the stellar cast. Together, they crafted a spy series transcending generations, leaving a lasting impression on television history. In classic TV, The Man from UNCLE is a standout spy series with devoted fans. 
Notably, during its production, David McCallum, one of the stars, received more fan mail than even MGM's big names like Clark Gable and Elvis Presley. Adding an interesting layer to McCallum's connection with the man from UNCLE, both of his husbands, David McCallum and Charles Bronson, had significant roles in The Great Escape. This cinematic overlap adds an interesting aspect to McCallum's personal and professional life, creating a unique intersection of his on-screen and off-screen worlds. Moreover, Robert Vaughn, a key figure in The Man from UNCLE, played a role in shaping his friend James Coburn's career. Vaughn recommended Coburn for a crucial role in The Magnificent Seven, a move that proved pivotal for Coburn's breakthrough. Vaughn's foresight, driven by the urgency of an impending actor's strike, highlights the interconnected relationships and collaborative spirit within the entertainment industry during that era. As we explore the dynamics behind The Man from UNCLE, it becomes clear that beyond the interesting stories and talented cast, the series was a result of connected relationships, both on and off screen. These personal and professional ties among the cast and crew contribute to the series' lasting legacy, showcasing the collaborative nature of the entertainment industry during its heyday. The show, born out of collaboration and creativity, continues to connect with audiences, offering not just a spy drama, but a peek into the intertwined lives of those who shaped its narrative. The ongoing influence of this classic series is proof of the camaraderie, recommendations, and personal connections that shaped its creation. In its third season, The Man from UNCLE underwent a stylistic shift responding to the prevailing camp trend popularized by Batman and Get Smart. This change, marked by an increase in comedic elements, led to a decline in ratings from which the series never fully recovered. Despite a return to serious storytelling in the subsequent year, the show faced cancellation midway through its fourth season. During the filming of a reunion movie, lead actors David McCallum and Robert Vaughn shared contrasting experiences regarding the impact of the show on their careers. McCallum found himself often typecast, facing challenges in securing diverse roles, while Vaughn, conversely, played predominantly villainous characters after the series concluded. In the unaired pilot of The Man from UNCLE, the head of UNCLE was portrayed by Will Kiluva and named Mr. Allison. However, when the episode finally aired, it was entirely in black and white, and Kiluva's scenes were reshot with Leo G. Carroll as Mr. Waverly. The production's evolution showcases the series' resilience and challenges. The comedic turn impacted its audience appeal, leading to its eventual cancellation. McCallum's struggle with typecasting contrasts with Vaughn's post-uncle. Career dominated by villainous roles. The pilot's transformation reflects the dynamic nature of television production, emphasizing adaptability. In the realm of classic TV, The Man from UNCLE stands out as a gripping spy series that etched its mark in 1964. The creative minds behind it, Norman Felton and Sam Rolfe, aimed for a show that went beyond the usual spy story, blending espionage with humor and suspense. Their collaboration resulted in a timeless series captivating audiences. Leading the production, Felton and Rolf played crucial roles in shaping the show's appeal. Their vision laid the foundation for a series seamlessly combining charismatic characters, plot twists, and innovative storytelling, setting it apart in 1960s television. Various directors contributed to the show's success, each adding a unique touch to different episodes. Their collective skill elevated the man from uncle, beyond a typical spy drama, creating a dynamic viewing experience. Robert Vaughn as Napoleon Solo and David McCallum as Elia Curry Aken formed the core duo. Their on-screen chemistry added depth to the narrative, making them the dynamic heart of the series. Interestingly, Vaughn initially auditioned for Curry Aken's role, but landed the charismatic Solo character. McCallum's portrayal of Curry Aken became so influential that it shaped subsequent spy portrayals in popular culture. Beyond the central duo, the show featured a versatile supporting cast with actors like Leo G. Carroll adding their flair to the series. The ensemble cast combined talent contributed to the show's lasting impact. In classic TV, The Man from UNCLE is a standout spy series with devoted fans. Notably, during its production, David McCallum, one of the stars, received more fan mail than even MGM's big names like Clark Gable and Elvis Presley. Adding an interesting layer to McCallum's connection with the man from UNCLE, both of his husbands, David McCallum and Charles Bronson, had significant roles in The Great Escape. This cinematic overlap adds an interesting aspect to McCallum's personal and professional life, 
creating a unique intersection of his on-screen and off-screen worlds. Moreover, Robert Vaughn, a key figure in The Man from UNCLE, played a role in shaping his friend James Coburn's career. Vaughn recommended Coburn for a crucial role in The Magnificent Seven, a move that proved pivotal for Coburn's breakthrough. Vaughn's foresight, driven by the urgency of an impending actor's strike, highlights the interconnected relationships and collaborative spirit within the entertainment industry during that era. As we explore the dynamics behind the man from UNCLE, it becomes clear that beyond the interesting stories and talented cast, the series was a result of connected relationships, both on and off screen. These personal and professional ties among the cast and crew contribute to the series' lasting legacy, showcasing the collaborative nature of the entertainment industry during its heyday. In its third season, The Man from UNCLE underwent a stylistic shift, responding to the prevailing camp trend popularized by Batman and Get Smart. This change, marked by an increase in comedic elements, led to a decline in ratings from which the series never fully recovered. Despite a return to serious storytelling in the subsequent year, the show faced cancellation midway through its fourth season. During the filming of a reunion movie, lead actors David McCallum and Robert Vaughn shared contrasting experiences regarding the impact of the show on their careers. McCallum found himself often typecast, facing challenges in securing diverse roles, while Vaughn, conversely, played predominantly villainous characters after the series concluded. In the unaired pilot of The Man from UNCLE, the head of UNCLE, was portrayed by Will Kiluva and named Mr. Allison. However, when the episode finally aired, it was entirely in black and white, and Kiluva's scenes were reshot with Leo G. Carroll as Mr. Waverly. The production's evolution showcases the series' resilience and challenges. The comedic turn impacted its audience appeal, leading to its eventual cancellation. McCallum's struggle with typecasting contrasts with Vaughn's post-uncle. Career, dominated by villainous roles. The pilot's transformation reflects the dynamic nature of television production, emphasizing adaptability. 